Hi guys, in my last video I showed you how to decorate these little paper bags um, and I just thought, because some of you don't have them, um, I thought I'd just give you a quick tutorial on how to make one. Um, they were really like these little sandwich bags, instead of you having to go out and buy one I thought I'd just show you um, how to do one with what you have at home. Um, so here we go. Right, to make a smaller one, all that you need is a A4 piece of paper. Now this is just my tea dyed um, copy paper, so it's really, really easy to do. So all you just got to do is make like a little tube. So this will make a smaller one, okay. So if this is all you've got at home, then just make a smaller one. You don't have to make them as big as I made them. So you just fold that into three, okay. So it's roughly, um, probably be roughly about five inches across. So then what we do, we just glue down the middle here. So we'll just glue down this edge here, down there, and glue down this one here, Oops. like so, and stick it down. Okay. So then you've got like a little tube here, there, here, okay. And then all as I did, because this is the one here, this is the size that I made, um, you just bend up the bottom like that to make your little pocket. So you can make little small ones and decorate them. This one I've just decorated, I think the paper was left over from the, from the um, file folder that I did, which is the RT Maze. I think it was the Butterfly Delights paper um, and then I've just stuck one of the lovely roses on the back and just um, stamped it there and then you've got the pocket there and then you've got your pocket in the middle so that's a small one okay so that's all you did um, if you wanted to, to as well you could leave it and you could have two pockets there just glue this down here and you could have two pockets inside there like that but what I did, I just actually folded a piece of paper over the top. Pretend this is um, um, digital paper or something. And I wrapped it over the top like that, just to reinforce this a little bit. And then stuck it on there so it didn't rip like that. So that's that size. Um, and if you wanted to make one sort of like this size, I do have... Um, a3 paper now oops daisy this is a pad of paper i got i think i actually got this one in aldi um it's just like a kiddies paper and it's an a3 size and it's really really nice because it's it's quite thick it doesn't actually say what size the paper is on here uh, what weight it is i mean but i think it's probably about 120 grams so I'm just going to show you quickly, if you have any A3 paper, you can make one um, very similar to this one here. Um, you can put the little gusset bits in here, or you can have it plain, because I've made two here, look. This is just the plain one, the same as we did with the A4 paper. So you just make a tube, and then you bend it over. And this one, I've actually made the little bits here so the bag at the back and the, the bag will be a lot bigger so you can put a lot more things inside and it's the same so I'm just going to show you quickly how to do that so if you've got your A, A3 sheet what you need to do is just sort of like fold it in now you want to fold it so it's a lot bigger because you need to make the little gusset bits at the side so if we just fold it in like so like this so that will be roughly let's have a look that's roughly seven and a half cent, um, inches on there and we'll just glue this bit down so we just make another tube okay and we stick that down like that so then we have a nice um, tube and then what I've done you just bend in these about say probably maybe an inch and a half either side like that 
and then bend this one in like that so then that will probably that's sort of roughly four and a half really you should be about five if you wanted it sort of similar to these ones that's bent in a little bit too much but never mind so then once those have been bent in you want to open it back up again and take these sides here now you want the middle bit that you've bent and put that bit like that you want to bend them so they come like that so you want to go inside if you know what i mean so then you bend it in like a like a w so once it's bent over like that you want to open it out and you want to bend the middle bit in the opposite way that makes sense that can be folded like that so that just folds in like that so then okay so when you've got like the, the this bit here that opens up so they were like opened up like that let's do it again so you have it flat like that and then these are bent in either side and then you open them back up again and then you want to bend the outside bit this ridge here you want to bend that in so it goes in and then these two pieces fold over the top like that and the same with this side so then you've got your little shape like that so you've got your little bag and then all as you do is bend the bottom bit up to make your pocket like that and then you just decorate it however you like like I did in the last one you can put napkins on it you can decorate it with scrapbook papers um, paint it anything so and then this one is obviously you've got the bigger pocket here so which is very very similar to this one here look so it's the same so there you go so if you didn't have any bags um, to do the, the the project with in my last video this is how you make them so we've got this one we've got the smaller one and that's just done with an a4 sheet um, and then we've got the one which is just made into a tube and bent over so that little pocket is not going to be as big as this one with the, the little side bits but they're very very simple and if you've only got the A4 sheets then just make a little one and it's probably good to practice with these ones actually um, and then you can make a little journal in there um, and then to make lovely little stocking stuffers and little gifts um, and if you want to send a little little gift to somebody um, they just come out lovely and this is the one that I decorated which is that one so I think they came out really nice so there you go just a quick quick um, paper bag tutorial okay guys well, I hope you enjoyed that give it a go and then you can start decorating them like this all right have a lovely week and I'll see you soon bye bye